Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Megat Ahmad Zafri bin Megat Yusri and my supervisor is Dr. Jasro Jamani. Uh, my project is optimal placement of Fort Color Limited in the distribution network with high penetration of distributed generation. So uh, my main objective, objective in this project is to reduce the Fort Color uh, produced when we install DG into the system by installing or introducing a Fort Color Limiter into the network that has DG. So, uh, firstly, I will explain uh, for my first cases, which is uh, 25 DG penetration. Uh, I'm using uh, the generator as mm. my DG. So, uh, here for operation mode, I set it as voltage control or PV mode. And then I connect it uh, to the bus 25, which is I already assigned. And then I run the load flow. Uh, to know uh, whether my uh, system works well or not and as we can see there is the power injection, injection occur uh, which is 9 to uh, 8 kilo, kilowatt on 575 keva so at the right side uh, I can change the unit to keva uh, and 50.1 ampere uh, which is uh, uh, the DG contribute this current so uh, for my output in this load flow is the voltage produced by each bar uh, and I record all the voltage produced and then for uh, next is short circuit analysis uh, I use a three phase bal balance three phase port as my port type and then I, uh, before that uh, I set all the bus as the faulted, which is the red color indicate that I already I already set the bus as the faulted, which uh, the right click here, and then I run the maximum uh, short circuit current. So my output here is the fault current produced at each bus uh, bar, which is 1.634 kilo ampere, and as we can see, each bus bar. I already set as the voltage and it produced the output that I want. And then the for the second cases, uh, which is 50% DG penetration, I connect it to the bus 22. So I run the load flow and this is the power injection, 9 to 8 keva. And then I run the short circuit analysis and that is the port current produced, which is highest from before so uh, the same uh, the same uh, the same step i apply to the third cases which is 75% uh, dg penetration i run the load flow to see the system works well or not so there is the power injection occur uh, power injection produced from the dg contribution and then i uh, you, then, uh, then i uh, use the short circuit analysis to uh, obtain the fault current produced. As we can see at all bus, there is a uh, fault current produced, which is my output in this uh, project. So I collect all. And for my last cases, uh, final cases, which is 100% generation, 100% uh, DG penetration, I connect to bus 18. And the same step uh, I apply, which is run the load flow to see the system work well or not. So we can see that there is power injection occur at all DG and then I run the short circuit analysis so uh, there is fault current produced for each uh, circuit for each bus bar and then for for my uh, solution is uh, by I'm intru introducing fault current limiter into the system and uh, for this step, I am using a uh, current limiting letter, which is one of the type of FCL. Uh, so I connect it series uh, with DG and also in bus 23 and 24. So I run the load flow to see the system works well or not. And then I run the uh, fault current analysis. So the same uh, uh, faulted section I apply at all bus. And then I run the 
short circuit analysis so we can see that there is a current reduction compared with the previous when I'm using 35 dg penetration without FCN and with FCN and the same thing I apply for the next cases which is I connect series with the FCN and also at bus uh, 19 which I I obtain for my placement method so I run the load flow and it's work and then short circuit analysis so there is current port current produce uh, at each part I record it and tabulate it uh, into the works and for the third case which is 75% DG penetration I connect it see this with FCL also at this location and then I run the load flow to see my system works well or not so there is power injection occur at each DG 928 so I run the short circuit analysis so there is current uh, for current produce and I record it so for my last cases which is 100% generation 100% DG penetration the same uh, step I apply and then I run the load flow so there is power injection occur that means that the system works well so that means the DG contribute uh, the current from DG co is contribute into the system so that is me and next step is I uh, use the fault current short circuit analysis and fault at all bus so I run the maximum short circuit current and we can see the of uh, uh, my uh, fault current produced at uh, each bus as my output for the simulation so I collect uh, all the data and tabulate it into Microsoft Word so uh, I, th I think that's all for me. Uh, thank you for watching my video, my demo session video. Uh, uh, I hope you enjoy watching it. Uh, thank you.